Hey guys, Justin Lee here on this beautiful SoCal day. Today I'm here to talk about how to tone, 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 tone underarm fat with water. So I get asked this question a lot. The question is, Justin, how do I tone my arms? How do I tone my underarm fat? Well. I'm finally making a video so you guys can finally tone out that underarm fat, also known as the tricep, so you guys don't have to wave to the world anymore. So you're probably wondering, how the heck are you supposed to tone your underarm fat with water? So before we get into all that, let's first talk about water. Water should be dramatically increased when starting a workout program. The first sign of fatigue is dehydration. The body is roughly consisted of about 70% of water, so when you start working out and start sweating and losing that water, don't you think it's important to rehydrate? <laughs> Y'all! So everyone knows that the recommended uh, number of glasses you need to drink of water is about eight, right? For the average person. But if you're gonna start working out and you start sweating a lot, you probably want to up that dosage to about, let's say, 10 cups. Quick tip! Charging a whole cup of water will fill your stomach up, make you feel full, and make you eat less. Underarm fat! Let's get to that. So, how do you tone your underarm fat with water? Well, we're actually gonna use the net weight of the water and we're gonna use this as a, almost like a dumbbell and we're gonna do an exercise called kickbacks. Now I'm sure you guys seen and done this move plenty of times, but I've seen people do this move plenty of times wrong too. So before I show you this move, let me show you some of the mistakes that I've witnessed a lot of people do all the time. The chicken. The model. So. The swinger. Please don't be one of these people and do the move completely wrong. Please. Let me show you how to do kickbacks correctly. So you want to make sure you're in the right position. So let's get started here. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you're doing kickbacks with one arm only. Um, you don't want to make look like a, a chicken and do this at the same time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get in position here. We're going to make sure that our feet are shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. And we actually want a, a hip hinge right here on the hips. We want a hip hinge actually about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so we're right here. And once we're here, what we want to do is we want to bring our arm up so that the arm right here, the upper part of the arm, the tricep, is actually parallel to the ground. So when you're here, you're, you come to a 45 degrees, you make sure your stomach is tight and you bring this arm up. Okay, that's the most important part. Most people will bring the arm down and do the kickbacks like that, and that's not really benefiting them a lot. So you want to make sure that you're here, you keep the arm up like so, and you are ready in position. Also, you want to make sure that your shoulder is dipped down. A lot of people will be out like this and do kickbacks like a model. And you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that your shoulder is down and your elbow is up. So after you get in position, you're going to hear your 45 degrees, you bring that shoulder down, you bring the arm up. You want to establish the full range of motion. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll actually go right here so they won't extend their elbow all the way, which they should. They'll stop right here and they'll actually bring the arm past 90 degrees and start swinging for the move. That is completely wrong. Please don't do this. So the full range of motion is right here. You want to come here, you want to bring that shoulder down, you want to bring that elbow up. And what you want to do is you want to bring that arm as straight as you can. So the whole arm is extended. You have the arm extension and then it's parallel to the ground. Okay, so you're here, and what you want to do is flex right at the top as hard as you can, and when you come down, you only come down to about 90 degrees. So this is how what the move should look like. You come here, 
feet slightly bent, hip hinge 45 degrees, bring the elbow up, shoulder down, flat. So you want to come right here 90 degrees, you want to come up, hold it there for two seconds, and then bring it back down. 90 degrees, that's all you need. So, that's a kickback. Just make sure you don't look like a couple of things like I said before. Make sure you don't look like a chicken and don't do two dumbbell um, kickbacks at the same time. Uh, make sure you don't look like a model by keeping the shoulder up and just kind of hanging out there and literally hanging out. <laughs> and also, you want to make sure that you don't swing. You want to make sure that you come here, you go range of motion stop from point A and down to point B. That's it. No swinging, controlled full movements, okay? Make sure you keep that shoulder down. This is a move that everybody can absolutely do. Everyone has a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. No excuses. Excuses are like buttholes. Everyone has them and they stink. Except girls, because they fart roses and flowers and every time they fart, it smells like spring. If you're tired of greeting everyone and waving to the world, this is how you're gonna stop being friendly. So get up out of your lazy butt and do 15 kickbacks each arm, do three sets of those, and start waving those fat goodbye. So I hope you guys learned a lot about toning up the tricep and about some water. So please try this move at home and tell me about them in the comments below, okay?